Okay, so there's one other unintended consequence, I think, of upgrading to 2.4, and that is you may have scripts that you have added, like head scripts or tracking scripts or using one of my boxes, a page-specific script or a template script. You may have scripts that you have added that were stored in the database one way, but now the thesis has been updated, they need to be store, restored in the database in another way. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. First off, I'm going to show you where the problem is here on BYOB website. So if we view the page source and we look at my tracking scripts up here, you can see I've got all these little extraneous slashes in my tracking script. And if I, let's say, inspect the element and I go to my console and you can see it says invalid or unexpected token. If I go over here, you can see that's really just where it starts off with, right, is these slashes. These slashes also down here are a problem and these ones down here are a problem. Now, you can... You can probably, I mean, you can fix that by either going back to your analytics code and getting a clean copy and pasting it in there, or you can go in and get rid of these extra slashes. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go in and get rid of the extra slashes. So, so let's come on over here. We'll go to my dashboard. And then we'll come down to thesis. And in this case, it's going to be, yeah, just thesis home. And I'm not going to update this stuff at the moment. But if we come over here to site and we look at, if you're using one of my boxes, there's this global scripts. I don't have any global scripts set up there, so it doesn't matter. Um, but if we come down here to the tracking scripts, oh, I don't have any tracking scripts either, so that doesn't matter. Uh, it all must be in head scripts. HTML head. And then in head scripts. And there it is. You can see we've got, it's essentially a slash before each one of these semi, uh, or, um, uh, single quotes. All right, so you can just follow it along, looking for the slash before the single quote. It would also be before a double quote. So there's our slash, and our slash, and our slash and our slash this this problem arises because this data this javascript essentially is being stored inside of the database and javascript in a database is very dangerous so we automatically do what's called escaping and our automatic escaping uh, prevents the JavaScript from running inside the database. And so it's a measure of protection, but because we've updated the way we do that, we end up with some of these older, the stuff that we've done in the past just needs to be adjusted a little bit. So save my HTML head. And let's see what this looks like now. Yep, you can see all that stuff is now taken out. And if we go back over and inspect it and come over to our console, that little error is now missing. And if we come back and look at our head, you can see that we don't have. Um, well, pardon me, we've got to go to the source. You can see we don't have the error here any longer, right? So that is the issue that we needed to address in order to get that stuff working correctly. 
although you can see here that I've got another problem. This my little scroll to top function is also failing. I wonder if that's a box. Uh, somebody alerted to me that alerted to me about this when they were talking about their jQuery. Okay, but the talk to script is fine. And this stuff is fine. See, these kinds of slashes like that aren't a problem. That's deliberate. Yeah, okay, I think that's good. I have to go figure out my scroll the top issue. Okay, well, hopefully that is helpful to you. Any place you may be using some kind of a special script, you want to take a look at that and see if that needs to be updated or changed in any way. Good luck with it. Let me know if you have a problem.